Okay. <sighs> I need a little bit more caffeine. Where did I put it? Where did I put my caffeine? Bitch, I know I put you here somewhere. Where'd you go? There you are. God, the. Uh... <laughs> Hello, friends. Today, we're gonna be doing a book haul because I have a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, as you know, if you watch my videos at all, I haven't been here a couple months, so book haul time because otherwise it's gonna get out of control and I'm gonna get way more overwhelmed than I already am. So, yeah. That's what we're here to do. We're gonna do a book haul. Right, so I just don't have the energy <laughs> to be piling them up and like showing you the actual book while I'm talking about it. So we're gonna get little pictures on the side, okay? Um, Cause it's a lot, it, it's a lot. And I just, I can't, I don't, I don't have the energy today to A, pile them up, hold them up, go through them and then put them all back on the shelves. That's the worst part, honestly. So, it is what it is. That's what we're going to do today. We're just going to show you pictures. I'm going to talk about the books a little bit to the best of my ability. As you know, if you watch my book hauls, I don't always give the best synopsis. And honestly, I don't care. <laughs> so anyways, these are in no fucking order. Um, I kind of wish I'd put them in order, to be honest, because I wish I had done them as like books and then manga. So I apologize in advance if... I haul any ones that I have already hauled because I, through the end of the year, just kind of decided I was not going to give a fuck. Um, I didn't keep track of anything. And that might continue, honestly. Um, but I'm going to try to keep track, like, better going forward from here. Just, I'm not going to stress about it. I don't even know if I'm going to upload consistently. Honestly, you're getting what you're getting. Okay? Cool. Anyways. Yeah, so some of these I might have already hauled. If that's the case, just skip them. I, I'm sorry. I just cannot fucking make myself remember and make myself care. So we're going to start with the books. Books as in uh, written words on page with no pictures or very few pictures. Um, so first on my list, I have Mountains Made of Glass. This is the newest Scarlet St. Clair release. I've already read this. You'll see it in my wrap up for lack of a better term. I think I'm going to just do like recent reads because I don't feel like doing wrap ups all the time now. Um, anyways, I read this. I did like it. Um, Scarlet St. Clair doesn't usually disappoint for me. So yes, I, this is a, uh, fairy tale retelling, I think is kind of what it was going as. Um, it involves Faye. It is a romance, adult romance. Yeah. Fantasy romance. That's what she does. So it's good. It's very short. Um, I read it in a day and a half or so. I like binge read it. Good. Good enough. Um, still not done, not topping my favorite series by her, which is the, um, the A Touch of Darkness series, the ones with the, the Hades and Persephone series. Um, yeah. And King of Battle and Blood's pretty good. Like the whole series. But yeah, um, it was good. I liked it. Why am I saying this now? I don't know. Anyways, Mountains Made of Class. It was good. It's a fairy tale retelling and it's smutty. So honestly, though, it's a little bit light on the smut. Like there's a lot of it, but it's not like kinky or <laughs> anything. So, um, okay. All right. So I did recently by quite a bit of nonfiction. Um, I have talked about it in another video where I talk about uh, books that I recommend if you're like going into therapy basically um, for trauma. So Getting Past Your Past is one that I read already. Um, I did haul it recently and it was great. It's a great resource. Um, back onto fiction for a minute. I recently hauled The Light Pirate. I bought this in the ebook. Um, this is by Lily Brooks Dalton, I believe her name is, and she wrote Good Morning Midnight, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Um, and I liked this book a lot. It took me quite a bit of time to read through it. Um, I think I was in a bit of a slump 
still when I was reading this. Um, it takes place in Florida and kind of chronicles uh, the main character's life from the time a bef little bit before she was born. It follows her mom um, and then follows her as she grows up and then as an adult and actually is kind of like a climate dystopian um, and deals with like hurricanes and um, sea level rise in Florida and honestly this was really refreshing and really nice and I liked this book a lot. It was quite sad um, but I did like the main character um, especially as an adult. I liked her a lot so yeah definitely recommend. Um, I hope they would make this one into a movie too because I think it'd be good. Um, then I also bought Well Traveled. This is, I think, the third book by Jen DeLuca. Um, I've read Well Met. I have not read Well Played. And now we have Well Traveled. All of them take place at the Maryland Renaissance Fair. So near and dear to my heart. I'm excited to read the last two of the series. Um, I just had money to spend, honestly, and saw it at the store. And I was like, I'm going to get it because I know I'm going to like it. I also caved the hype and bought Delilah Green Doesn't Care. I had originally wanted to get this for my library and I could have, um, but I just, I had, again, I had gift cards and stuff around my birthday to spend. So I just picked it up because I was in the mood for it. And that is a sapphic romance, contemporary romance. Um, back into nonfiction a little bit. Um, I also hauled It Didn't Start With You and The Body Keeps the Score. More nonfiction about trauma and stuff. Um, if you're interested, check out the video that I did make about this book's a little more in depth. I also hauled Fledgling by... <coughs> oh, I also hauled Fledgling by Octavia Butler. Um, I'm trying to read more of her books, but I haven't gotten to them yet. But I, I wanted this one because I heard really good things about it. I've also hauled Bookish People and The Language of Flowers. I got these two used at the used bookstore months ago at this point. And I'm curious to see what they're all about. I've wanted to read The Language of Flowers for a while. I think at one point I owned it and then I unhauled it. So we'll see. Um, I also bought used Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance, which I think I read the synopsis on the back of them and I was like, ah, sounds interesting. Let's pick it up. Um, all right. Um, so I've also bought the Nine Eyes of Lucian. And that is how you say it, I think. <laughs> I want to say Lucian, but I think it's Lucian. Um, and this is the Critical Role newest Critical Role book. I actually bought it in hardback because I was like, I'm tired of resisting buying this even though I want to read it so bad. Um, and then I decided I really wanted to listen to it on audiobook because it has a full cast. Um, but then people were like, don't read it until you've completed uh, Campaign 2. And I'm like, only two episodes into Campaign 2. So we'll see how soon I get to it. I might just read it and not do Campaign 2 and just spoil myself. Because it's like hundreds of episodes and I don't know if I can be bothered to go through it at this point. <laughs> I also bought Wicked Beauty and Radiant Sin by Katie Robert. Um, this is part of her Dark Olympus series. I've read the first book um, and that's it. But I own the rest of them because I know I'm going to like them. Um, this is where I'm getting like, I don't know if I've hauled these yet. So I also bought The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy because Jess loved this book and it sounds really interesting. Um, it's like paranormal but contemporary romance. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read it. I bought it new and then proceeded to go to my used bookstore like two days later and found it there and was mad. So... <laughs> Um, on a whim, I bought Small Town Big Magic. This is a contemporary romance um, featuring a witch. And that's about all I remember. So the, the cover is really beautiful and I'm excited to read this one. But I've been trying to go to the bookstore and just browse and find things because I'm 
I'm kind of burnt out on like only reading things that I find recommended to me and I feel like I need to diversify a little bit. All right, um, and then a good segue, I think, is to talk about the light novels I've bought recently. So there's three. I bought A Silent Witch, number one, A Thousand Autumns, number one, and Sword of the Demon Hunter, number one. These are all ones that were on my list and ones that I was excited to read, and they were coming out early this year, um, and I've had a hard time finding them. And then I went to Second and Charles, and I found them there, and I found a lot of manga that I couldn't find anywhere else, so... If you're curious, that's where you find them. <laughs> okay, so uh, last but not least, all of the manga that I have bought. So I have not only been reading a ton of manga from my library, um, I have been buying manga if it's not at my library because, yeah, that's what I've been reading a lot of right now. Um, I'm like usually reading one normal book um, and then reading like three or four manga. <laughs> so that's the way it's going right now. I'm having a fun time with it. So whatever. Um, so I bought Entangled With You. I've actually already unhauled this. Um, it's a short story anthology and it's BL. It was okay. I just wasn't expecting it to be short story anthology that was like disconnected. I, I don't know why I expected it to be like a, sh oh, like a one shot BL. But it was okay. The art is gorgeous. I will tell you that. The stories left me wanting more. <laughs> um, I also got Toilet Bound Hanako number 17. I've already read it. Um, five stars as usual. And yeah, I think we're getting another one, but it's not for like, it's like in September or something this year. So we're getting like two this year, which is not a great sign, but whatever. I also bought The Pet Detective Agency. Um, I did like this. This was a short one-shot BL. This had some things in it that are, granted, they are BL tropes, okay? The, like, pushy top, that uh, reluctant bottom trope. Not always a fan of it, depending on how it is. So, yeah, there's been times where, like, recently where I've read... And it has that trope, and I'm like, okay, it's not so bad. Like, it's tolerable. There are times when it's more annoying than others. I just wish BL would get away from it a little bit. Um, hopefully, like, more current BLs, like, going forward, kind of get away from that trope. That would be great. A little bit of the tension is good, but, like, too much of it, and it's like, ugh, this is, like, borderline non-consensual, and it's, mm, just, you know... <laughs> Anyways, I bought that. That's how I felt about it. Um, I also bought Red Hood, number one and two. I've read number one. I haven't read number two yet. This is a little Red Riding Hood retelling, and it's cool. The wolves are kind of weird, um, but the art is kind of weird, and I, I like it. So overall, yeah, I'd recommend. Um, I bought the Tumble... Oh, my God. I also bought... The Tunnel to Summer, uh, there's a second part to this title. The Tunnel to Summer, the something of goodbyes. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the Tunnel to Summer, the Exit of Goodbyes, Ultramarine. Yeah, so I bought one and two of that. And... I have read number one, and I really love it, um, and I'm, I own number two, but I haven't read it yet, so. I also bought Island in a Puddle, number one, and it wasn't what I was expecting. Not that it was terrible, but it wasn't what I was expecting, um, and I'm not going to continue the series, just the way it is. I also bought Citrus, number one. And I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> um, I think I ended up rating it three stars because I was like so conflicted. I don't know if I will continue to read this. Um, yeah. I don't know. It was just too... 
maybe a little too etchy for me. So yeah, it's not on my priority list right now. Um, if I get really bored, I might continue reading it, but I'm not like dying to read it. Um, I also bought the Dragon Knights Beloved 1, 2, and 3. I'm liking this. It's really cute. Um, it's just a normal heterosexual romance. Um, there's a dragon rider. He's kind of dark and mysterious. And a girl who like really likes dragons and dragons really like her. And they're kind of childhood friends. And yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, I've read number one, but I haven't finished two or three. So... It is what it is. I also bought The Witch and the Beast number one when I read the back of this. This is, I've picked it up a couple times when I've gone to the store because it looks interesting. Um, and then it's recommended for fans of Noragami on the back. So I finally was like, oh, okay, we're going to buy this and we're going to see what it's all about. And I like it. I have read several of them at this point. I think I'm on the third or fourth one now. Um, I am getting them from the library though because I found out they have all of them so I do not need to buy them anymore. <laughs> so won't be buying any more of those but I will be reading them and I'm liking it so far. I also bought Seaside Stranger number one and two. This is a BL. I have not started either of these so I'm curious to see how it is. I finally got Box of Light number two. I am so hyped to read this. Um, I have not read it yet but I am excited to read it. I just bought it like a, a week or two ago. I also finally got Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost, number one. I'm not sure how I'll feel about this. The cover art is great, but I'm not sure how I'll feel about the story itself. So I only bought the first one for now. Um, then I've also gotten Emakoi, number one and two. This is a romance manga. As you can tell, I've been in a romance manga kind of mood. Um, I have not started either of these, but I've heard good things. I also got Can't Stop Cursing You, number one. I don't remember what this is about, to be honest with you. I still need to read it. I've had it for a while now. And yeah. Um, I picked up on a whim a Yashimon, number one. This was actually on my list for the, our comic book shop of ones I wanted to check out. We found it there, and my husband was like, oh, this one looks cool. And I was like, oh, you know, actually... That was on my list of things I wanted to check out. Sorry, my dog is scratching the carpet and turning in a circle. Lie down, good girl. But I did find out this got canceled, so I don't know how many we're gonna get of it. On a whim, I also bought Colorless number one and the guy at the comic book shop told me it's really good, so I'm excited to read it. And I also got Tokyo Aliens number one and two. We're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Um, I also bought Bungo Stray Dogs number one. I've tried to watch the anime. I haven't read any of the manga before, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick up the manga kind of in the background um, and read it and see what I think. And I got Ghost Reaper, no Ghost Reaper Girl number one. Um, again, this is one that was on my list just based on like the synopsis and the art that I really wanted to check out. And then I also picked up Sasaki and Miyano, number one. These are short mangas. They're like uh, slim books, BL. And I don't know how I felt about it. Um, I might pick the next one up, but like kind of on a low key kind of schedule. Um, this is the one where I was kind of conflicted where it felt a little forced, a little pushy. So I just wasn't sure how I felt about it, but Kind of on the fence there. Um, so those are all the books that I've bought recently. Like I said, it's quite a lot. Um, sorry that I don't give a lot of synopsis and a lot of summary on these books, but hopefully you enjoyed this video anyways, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.